Today we want to talk about staying connected to Jesus. Staying connected to Jesus. When, when I look out into this uh, world, I realize that many folks, glory be to God, has lost connection with the Lord. Yeah. Glory be to God. There used to be a time, glory be to God, when folks uh, didn't mind coming to church yeah. and just saying amen to God get finished doing what he need to do. Yeah. But now, glory be to God, you got folks are late getting to church and hearing to leave the church. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to preach it away. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. There used to be a time, glory be to God, that you didn't have to pump nobody up. Amen. To praise God. You didn't have to try to prime nobody to do devotion. You didn't have to try to prime nobody to do the work. And glory be to God. Somebody has lost their connection with the Lord. Glory be to God. But as we look here at the gospel according to John, uh, the 15th chapter, in the first verse, we see that Jesus had made it known to his disciples and us today that he is the true vine. Glory be to God. In other words, he is the vine of all vines and his father, which is God, is the husband man. Glory be to God. Now according to the second verse, Jesus said every branch Referring to, uh, glory be to God, the believers that believe in him, uh, he said, does not bear fruit. Uh -huh. He, which is God, our Father, take away. Amen. Some Bible may say cut it away, but for those of you that may not realize and understand, glory be to God, one of our duties, glory be to God, here upon this earth as branches, as believers, is to bear fruit. God yes, help us in here today. Glory be to God. Now, now before I go on in the Father, I, I want us to, to focus on the word bear it and fruit. Uh, glory be to God. The word parent, uh, glory be to God, Jesus defined it here in the second verse as to be productive. Yeah. One of the things that Jesus does not see in a lot of us, Lord help us in here today, and that is us not being productive enough uh, for him. Uh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. It's a sad situation how some of us more is more productive for the world, the flesh, and the devil, but not protected enough for Jesus Christ. Not being protected. Glory to God. According to the second verse, God, glory to God, will take you off the vine. The Spirit of God is saying so, so many of us are so close to being, glory to God, taken away from Jesus. Why, Pastor McCray? Because we are not Yeah. It's more to it than just 
working in the kitchen. Glory be to God. Yeah. More to it than just being a plain pew sitter. Some folks just come to church just to sit down. Glory be to God. Some folks just come just to eat. Glory be to God. Some just come to get them a little rest and they want to blame it on the preacher saying the preacher ain't preaching that glory be to God. It ain't the preacher's fault, glory. It's your fault. Glory be to God. Yes, you got to understand that we are going to be some fruit bears. We need to start bearing some fruit. Glory be to God. Listen, listen. What good is it to hold all these positions and you're not bearing any fruit? Glory be to God. It's all right to be on the deacon board. It's all right to sing in the choir. Whatever auxiliary you're in, but you have to do it in the choir yourself. Am I bearing? Am I bearing any fruit? Our glory be to God. You, you, you gotta understand that that, 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 that when God called us to be fruit bearers, not fruit liars, not fruit fornicators, not fruit gamblers, not y'all about to get the picture, it's not fruit homongers. No doubt many of us look and act like fruit bearers because of the way we sing, the way we pray, the way we preach, and the way we talk, and the way we shop. In reality, we're not fruit bearers. We just counterfeit of fruit bearers. Glory be to God. Ain't fooling nobody but yourself. Glory be to God. Let the truth be known. Listen, let the truth be told. Many of us look like the Alasto tree that's found in Israel. In my studies, I found out this tree is like a counterfeit olive tree. It had the same textures, the leaves and the barks of the olive tree. But the problem with it, it doesn't bear any fruit at all. So, so to the naked eye at a certain season during the year, you would think it was just as like the natural ordinary tree. But when the fruit bearing season, in other words, when the harvest season comes, you can't find, y'all ain't saying nothing in here, you can't find no fruit. So that's the way with a lot of us, glory be to God, we, we act like we are fruit bearing, glory be to God. But do you not know this is the harvest season? So where is your fruit? Where is your fruit? Do you not know when you stand before God on judgment day? Glory be to God. He's going to put up the record and see how you bear in the fruit. Y'all ain't saying that. He's going to check your record and see if you have bad in the fruit. Oh, have mercy. Oh, have mercy. And we Glory be to God, of fruit bearers. And we are branches. And we are believers of Jesus. Like we say we are, we don't have time to be acting like counterfeit fruit bearers. Glory be to God for the counterfeiters. Jesus said that the God, his Father, will take them away. In other words, cut them off from the vine. But those branches, yeah. Uh, glory be to God. Those branches who bear fruit. According to the second verse, God said, he pruned them. In other words, he, he, he cut off and removed the dead things. They found them that to, to, to improve their sheep. Glory be to God. All oh, their growth.
Yes, God. 